everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel i'm sorry i haven't posted in a while i just haven't really had anything to post since coming home from penn state but i wanted to make this video because i had a few people message me on instagram and i thought it'd be a great idea to kind of make a video on what you need to bring to college but like kind of more in depth of like what you think you would need to bring versus what you actually need to bring and what you wouldn't think of so i have a list and we can probably just hop right on into it so the first thing that I would super, super, super recommend is a Keurig. Um, not only for coffee because Leah and I didn't really use ours for coffee most of the time. We actually ended up using it for ramen, like cup noodles. You would just fill it up with the hot water from the Keurig. Um, we would always have people coming into our room and using it to make their cup noodles. Um, we did use it for hot chocolate a couple times or for like coffee. Obviously, we made a lot of chai lattes with the K-cups from the Berkey Creamery and stuff like that. But I would definitely say if you don't want to buy like a whole hot water kettle or you don't want to have to find hot water somewhere or microwave your cup noodles. I know some people do that, but I know you're not supposed to do that because carcinogens. It's a really good way to kind of heat up soup and like stuff that you need hot water for. I would also say to get a vacuum or at least have someone you know with a vacuum. Leah and I personally didn't have a vacuum. But Ava, who lived right down the hall from us, had a vacuum and we were always borrowing it. Like we literally kind of kept it in our room and people would always borrow it from us and from her, even though it was her vacuum. I know Penn State does allow you to rent vacuums from the commons, but it was just, it was such a long walk. You don't want to be that like weird person carrying a vacuum from Finley and walking all the way back to your dorm with this giant vacuum. I mean, obviously you can do it, and if we had gotten desperate enough, we would have done it, but it's really nice to just have a vacuum on hand, and it's not that big. You can store it in your room. I stored it behind my closet. It's just like, like a Swiffer straight up, like, it just vacuums. It's really easy. You'd be like, oh, like, I'm not going to vacuum my room that often. It's going to get really, like, dusty and hairy, and apparently Leah and I, we shed a lot. Our hair, it, it's, it's always falling out, so it really helped with a lot of that. This one's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm going to say just in case, scissors. I said this, I think, in my move-in vlog, so I'm going to link that somewhere. I don't know which corner it's in, but definitely bring scissors. It helps a lot with moving in because you're opening everything. You need scissors for that, but also throughout the year, you're going to need it to open, like, packages, uh, little like bags of food or anything that you need a lot of people would come in and ask to borrow my scissors as far as aesthetics go I don't know how people prefer their lighting um, Obviously the room has one overhead light and that has the window to bring in natural light But I would say getting LEDs to put around the top of the room or some type of lamp or a neon sign or something It really adds to the room because when you have people over at night You don't want like a harsh overhead light on it's just weird It like kind of ruins the vibe a little bit, but if you have LEDs on it really helps bring that like kind of like cool atmosphere um we almost never use our overhead light ever definitely think about what kind of lighting and decorations you want in your room i would also try to get something that kind of helps your room smell better leah and i had a wallflower that we just stuck in the wall i showed it in my room tour which i will link in one of these corners um but we had a wallflower from bath and body works which just plugged into the wall you would buy a scent you just like screw it into the not a diffuser but it, whatever it is that plugs into the wall and it just it like pushes out scent the entire day all like 24 hours and everyone would come in our room and be like oh my god it smells so nice in here it smells so good in here and it really just helped it from smelling like weird ava our friend that lived down the hall didn't have a wallflower but she had bath and body works room spray it's a little spray it's about like yay big and you just spray it once or twice because it's pretty concentrated and it makes the room smell really good like for that period of time so it's not all the time 24 hours like without you having to do anything but it is there as an option if you want to be able to make your room smell nice like you have people coming over or if you just it smells weird in your room you want to fix it so I know that's not important to like everyone but if you really want a room that smells nice and you want people to compliment you on how nice your room smells um, I would definitely look into getting something like that paper towels are super important because you're gonna spill things it's like pretty self-explanatory, you're gonna spill things, you're gonna wipe stuff up. Leah and I dried a lot of our dishes with paper towels because we didn't want to dry them with like our like washcloths for our faces or our towels for our body, stuff like that. Obviously you can get a dish towel like specifically for dishes, but I would just get paper towels. They're so much easier because then you don't have to wash them after, you just throw them away. I don't know. It's nice because you can wipe stuff up with them, you can use them as napkins, you can eat over them, like stuff like that. It's just, it's like an all around good product. On that same vein, I wouldn't get reusable silverware and dishes just because if you're the type of person that's gonna wash them right away and put them away and that's just what you like to do, like that's fine, get them, they'll, they'll work for you. But as like a college student that's just like moving, 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 you want to like hang out with people, you want to do this, do that, 
you don't really feel like you want to wash your dishes right after you're done with them. You kind of just want to set them down, sit for a little bit, and then you forget about them. They sit there, they get dirty, it's gross. Um, it's a lot easier to just get disposable plates, disposable bowls, disposable spoons, forks, knives, and then you can just throw them away right after. It's so much easier. Like, even my roommate, she really liked having a really clean room, which was probably hard living with me because I'm not the most cleanly person but even her like we both use disposable dishes just because it was so much easier than getting out a bowl and having to wash it out and everything so I would definitely recommend that because it saves you a lot of steps but if you really really want to use reusable dishes no one's stopping you it's a great idea it saves the environment just saying that as a college student in the moment you're not gonna want to wash the dishes next is a lint roller lint rollers were really really important I always borrowed Leah's lint roller because even though you don't have like any pets or anything there's no pet hair that's getting on you obviously in the dorms because no one has pet a lot of lint and dust and like just like fuzz from your new comforter your new blanket uh, new clothes stuff that just gets on you outside um, a lot of it will get on like your leggings your dark clothes and you just want to lint roll it off before you go outside just so it looks nicer this doesn't apply to schools everywhere but specifically for Penn State it does rain a lot not a ton to where you're like oh my god it's so gloomy like what you would think of something like Washington would be um, but it does rain a pretty good amount so I would look into getting an umbrella because it's really nice to be able to walk to class and not get drenched next is a winter jacket I would definitely think about getting a winter jacket, especially if you're going to school on the East Coast. Obviously, I had to buy my first winter jacket when I moved over there because being from California, the coldest it ever gets here is like 40 degrees, and that's in the early, early morning, and then by the midday, it's like 50s, and why would you need a winter jacket for that, right? So I bought a North Face puffer jacket, and it was fine, but I would say if it's your first time and you're buying a jacket and you want to keep it for like the entirety of your four years, I would get a longer one, like a lengthier one that's going to cover a portion of your legs just because my legs did get pretty cold but I was just like I don't want to buy an entire new winter jacket because they're expensive if you want like a really good quality one like you, you want a brand name one um, they're just pretty expensive and I didn't want to have to buy a new one I'll probably buy a, like a longer one this year but you're not gonna die if you have a shorter one like I had a North Face puffer and I had a puffer that I got from Target which worked surprisingly well so um, definitely look into getting a winter jacket because it gets cold there were some mornings where I would go to class and it would be zero degrees and it would like feel like negative like nine or something so definitely invest in like winter clothes winter boots as far as those go i only wore them like once or twice and that was when we were playing in the snow like we left the dorms went out to the arboretum when it was snowing 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 and we would play in the snow that was pretty much the only time i wore my boots um even though it was cold and snowing the rest of the days i got away fine with just wearing like regular shoes like air forces converse stuff like that um you just have to be careful about slipping but you can slip in boots it's it's really to each their own. If you really think you need the boots, you need the boots. They're, they keep my feet really warm when I did wear them, but I don't necessarily think they're a super necessity. But next, this one's kind of niche, but it's called a, f I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like a fasta pasta, fasta pasta, fasta pasta, I don't know. Um, I'll put a picture of it right here. Leah and I use this to make pasta, a, like, more than you would think we were always craving pasta we had noodles like the obviously hard noodles of what you would make at home um we had them under leah's bed we had marinara sauce in the fridge put your pasta in it fill it up to whatever serving line with water and then you microwave it and it makes your pasta in the microwave so we wouldn't have to go down to the communal kitchen on the first floor and use the stove and find someone with a pot and it's just a lot of work um took like 20 minutes the cap itself is a strainer and you strain it out and then you put your sauce on and you got pasta and it was super easy to clean just easy to make in your dorm really quick really easy nice hot meal if you don't want to like eat dining hall food um, I would definitely recommend that because we used it all the time like literally all the time so I would also get Clorox wipes just because it's dirty it's a new environment you're gonna get sick like I don't know one person that did not get sick their entire like first year I got sick a lot just because my immune system is really really weak and it was I was moving from California to Pennsylvania so I was sick all the time just keep stuff clean it's like nice to have the Clorox wipes to wipe down any surfaces in your room you can dust it if you have like Swiffer cloths to dust um, it's not that big of a deal we didn't dust that often in our dorm but definitely Clorox wipes because you can clean stuff up if you spill stuff after you wipe with a paper towel it might be sticky like stuff like that it's just keeping your dorm clean is like really important because 
no one wants to hang out in a gross dorm you know what i mean next i would say wrinkle spray is super super important because sometimes you're gonna have like a cotton shirt or like a nice blouse or like a going out top that you want to wear and it's like wrinkly and gross or like a tennis skirt that you would wear for a game day or a tailgate it's just gross and you're like oh it's so wrinkly you can straighten it with a, a hair straightener i've done that before that works just fine but also if you don't have a hair straightener for whatever reason or you don't want to like do that because it might ruin the top or whatever you can get wrinkle spray leah and i had some i'll put a picture it's like downy brand i think we use the wrinkle spray you just spray it on whatever you want to like take the wrinkles off of you hang it up and you just kind of like pull and like flatten until there's no more wrinkles and it's not obviously a hundred percent foolproof there are probably going to be some residual wrinkles and stuff like that but it worked pretty well for what it was so definitely if you're looking for a quick fix i would definitely think of that extension cords super super important just because there's only a, like a handful of outlets in the room in the east renovated dorms in tenor we had one outlet by the bed one by the desk and then one by the door on each side so there's six outlets total in the room and they're spread out just across the entire room but especially by the bed you have a lot of stuff you want to charge so you in my extension cord i plugged it into the wall and it went up into the little cart next to my bed and in that we plugged in the keurig my apple watch charger my phone charger my airpod charger and oh the fridge you need to plug the fridge in somewhere because obviously you need to plug the fridge in you're probably going to need more outlets than they provide you with just because this is a digital age and we're all using electronics of like every kind so i would say that's really important next is tied sticks these are very very important because you're probably going to spill stuff on yourself or on someone else you're like oh my god i'm so sorry um tied sticks super easy you just take them out like scribble with it on whatever you spilled on and then sometimes it takes it all the way out and you're like oh perfect it's gone now but a lot of times it'll just help because you do that and then when you throw it in the wash it'll come completely out even if it's like marinara sauce or whatever um i did have an oxyclean stick too but it was just so big that i never wanted to use it over the tide stick and then this is kind of preference but i did find this super super helpful i had a backrest pillow it's like a chair pillow i'll put a picture if you don't know what i'm talking about super super helpful because i could just like prop it up whenever i wanted to just sit and not completely lay down if i I was doing like some easier homework in bed or if I just wanted to sit up and go on TikTok or just kind of lounge there it was nice to have to be able to just sit up because the wall is obviously not the most comfortable thing um, but it was nice and comfy people always wanted to use it when they're sitting on the bed or if someone's sitting on the ground you have a lot of people in the room and not everyone fit on the beds you can throw it to the ground person can use it on the ground and lean up against like your shelves under your bed or up against a bedroom post or whatever and it really just helps everyone like be more comfortable so I would definitely invest in like some type of chair pillow because I liked it. The thing I want to talk about is kind of preference again, just because not everyone's going to live this lifestyle. But if you do plan on going out and going to parties, going to frats, stuff like that, um, definitely get tops and themed stuff. Because I remember there was a lot of parties that would be like themed and I'd be like, oh my god, I have no idea what to wear. And obviously the people in your dorm or like the people you're friends with, you can always borrow stuff from them because everyone's super, super nice. I was always borrowing tops from people. But I do remember some of the themes would be like angel and devil jungle so if you have like any animal print i didn't have any animal print so i had to borrow from someone um glow so like neon just like basic themes and stuff but definitely bring a lot of tops for going out because you don't want to keep recycling the same three i recycled the same three over and over and over again it got kind of old really fast so definitely get tops for going out and stuff for themed parties but it's not the end of the world if you don't have it obviously no one's gonna like kick you out if you're wearing a, like a plain brown top to like a, a western party or something like that you know what i mean but that was just something that like i wish i had and i wish i had prep for and then i also made a list of some stuff that i think you don't really need that a lot of people kind of preach about on like on tiktok i've been seeing a ton of videos of people saying like this is what you need for college and they'll name some of these things and i'm like i thought i needed that too and i ended up not using it at all this might be just specific to penn state in my experience just because every college is different every college is different amenities but in my experience at penn state i did not use it at all and i found it kind of useless and like i wish i hadn't spent the money on it delicate bags for your laundry so like little bags so you can put your socks your underwear your bras in so they don't get lost or like eaten by the dryer you can, don't leave stuff in there when you're taking your stuff out it's a good idea in theory and i used it for like the first two weeks but then i realized it 
not really necessary with the dryers that they had in East Renovated at Penn State just because you, if you take a good look in the dryer you can see if you left anything in there it's not that big of a deal um, it never kind of ate any of my stuff or like ripped anything so I had a fine time just throwing everything in and then taking everything back out so I wouldn't really stress about getting delicate bags and then like I said before reusable dishes a lot of people are like you're gonna want to eat yeah you're gonna want to eat but you're not gonna want to wash the dishes so maybe get disposable. A Brita, I know some colleges, these are really important just because they don't have water filling stations, but in Tenor, we had a water bottle filling station. I'll put a picture, because I feel like I can't explain what it is that well, but it's like a water fountain with a water bottle filling station on top. Um, we had these on every floor of the building. We didn't really need our Brita, and like to go fill up the Brita, we would literally fill it up with the water bottle filling station, and it would take forever. So we were like, why would we do that? instead of just bring our water bottle out and fill it. So I would definitely like check and see what your school has. Obviously, if it doesn't have like a filtered water bottle filling station, yeah, Brita might be a good idea. But if it has stuff for you already, it just it's kind of unnecessary. And lastly, trash bags. This one varies from school to school because we didn't need trash bags in renovated East Tenor of Penn State because they provided them to us on each floor of the building. And then you would just take your trash down to the basement, empty it, bring it back up, get a new bag from your floor, right? But I do think that some buildings, like Pollock maybe, didn't have their own trash bag. So again, just check to see what your building offers, what your school offers, just because we didn't need it. That was pretty much everything. I know it wasn't like, oh, you need like bedding, you need sheets and stuff, but I feel like those are kind of spoken for already. Like obviously you need bedding, you need sheets, you need a mattress topper, a mattress cover when you go to school. Um, but if you're looking for kind of a more in-depth list of what you need, I can post one. I'll link one in the description if I can find my old one. But also if you kind of wanted to see what you would need in a dorm and what I had in my dorm, you can go and look at my dorm tour. I will link it either here or here. I never know which corner it is. Other than that, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry I haven't posted in a while, but we are coming back around to August when we're going to move back to Penn State, so I'm super excited about that. I got my football tickets again this year, which I am so, so grateful for, and I'm going to be moving into my first apartment this August, so I'm really excited about that, and I'm definitely going to take you guys along with me, so I will see you guys either if I post an interesting enough video between now and then, or I will see you guys then. So I will see you guys later. Bye.